Hey guys. Hey, today I thought I'm going to come back and paint one of the S-crank style. I really like this style. I use it a lot. Uh, I really don't know. We're just going to pick some nice, bright spring colors. We'll paint it up. We'll see what we get. Well, let's start out <clears throat> getting our base coat of white on. Createx opaque white, as always. And get a nice base coat for all the colors. All right, there we go. Got a white on. Let me clean up. Let's move on to some colors. All right, we're going to do this just a little bit different. Normally, we're going to paint the belly first and work our way up. But because of the colors I'm using, I'm going to change it a little. We're going to go Createx Transparent Yellow. And I probably will avoid right at the very bottom on the belly. Just want to do the sides here. Across the top. Like that. If you notice, I left the head alone. I got the back, but we left the belly. Now let's come back and put a little something there on the belly. Now we'll come back and get that belly and what we're going to use now is Createx Transparent Orange. I didn't want a lot of paint here because I didn't want the under color to mess up my orange. But it's just one stripe right down the middle. Real easy. Just like that. That's all that takes. Alright, now before we move on to the next step, we're going to want to dry this really good. So we're going to get out the heat gun, start drying. Now, we've got everything dry. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put on a wrap. I'm going to use, this is a mesh ribbon. You can find this at Hobby Lobby in the fabric section. I think it's called a, like a metallic metallic mesh, but it's not really metal, probably for the appearance of it. I've got an old piece here I've used before, and as you can see, I've doubled it over. Sometimes I like to double it over, you get a little bit more of an effect that way. And basically we're just going to, yeah, let me get it a little farther, there we go. We're going to go just like this, get my clip off. We'll bunch it down here on the back. Put another clip there. There we go. Now if you notice, I didn't put any over the head. That's because we haven't painted the head yet either. But that's okay. All I really care about for this is going to be the back. Alright, so we got that. Next we're going to step up with Createx Pearlized Pearl Green. It's kind of a dark green color. Get a few drops in here. There we go. And we're going to go right down the back. Again, we're not going to mess with the head yet. When I don't want to mess around with the head, instead of really starting at the front and going back, a lot of times I start my paint back at the back and I work to the front. Alright, that's all we're going to do for that. Now of course, we'll move that, let's get the heat gun, let's get this dry. Alright, here we go. Let's take some clips off. We'll pull our wrap back. There we go. We got our darker green there. Of course, we still got that head that we've been avoiding so far. So let's move on to that next. For our head, Createx Transparent Bright Red. Now, we don't want to get carried away to the back, so we're going to basically be spraying on the bill, getting back on the head from there, and just kind of letting it blend back and go over the top of those other colors. And that might do us right there. I'm going to let that go. I thought about going a little farther back, but you know what? I don't want to get carried away. We're just barely going over the green. 
I don't see any sense getting carried away with this whole thing. All right, we're going to need a set of eyes. I don't think we're going to want red ones here, but I either have some silver or I might have some yellow ones. So let's see. Let's see about eyes, and then let's see about a top coat. All right, guys, let's get our top coat in. And as always, I'm using the Bob Smith Industries 30-Minute Slow Cure two-part epoxy. A lot of other ways you can do this. I guess that's the way I've been doing it from the start, so haven't seen the reason to change as of yet. I always felt I got good results with this. Good hard durable top coat. Equal parts if you haven't watched this before, and as you noticed, I didn't measure. A lot of guys really get technical about the measurements, and I know, maybe you should, but I never have. Can't say I've had any problems doing it the way I'm doing it. So, all right, cheap Walmart brush. We're going to hang it up to dry. That's going to take care of any brush strokes so you don't have to have anything fancy there. Make sure I get this out in front where you can see it. I will say I am so happy we are finally to the time of year when the ice is coming off the lake and you can actually get out and fish again because if there's anything I hate about painting lures in the winter, it's the fact that I can't take them to the lake right away and try them out and catch fish. I really like whenever I can is paint a lure and before I end up editing the video, take that lure out and fish with it. And if the fish are cooperating, maybe I can catch a fish with it before I end up getting the video edited. It's real easy to miss a little spot, but as long as you look it over, have some good lights so you can see the reflection, you should have it covered. And I think we got that one done. All right. Now, we're going to hang it up in my case. I'll take a wire. You're going to get everything to run down. So I like to just take a wire. We're going to hang it. We'll hang it up, let it dry. We'll see what we got when we're all said and done. Well, there we go, guys. Hey, I did manage to get out one morning. I got picked up one before the rain chased me off, but hey, at least I picked up some with it. Tell you what, nice and bright. Let's just call that our sunshine. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.